When you get a MakerBot, you pull it out of the box and it looks like this. You have to put the filament on the back and plug it in. It's kind of like getting a computer for the first time. The MakerBot Replicator 2 is the future. It's a 3D printer that makes products come to life. It's built by MakerBot. Creator Brie Pettis has always liked to tinker. As a young adult, Brie was a teacher, which he liked. These days, Brie is a visionary. Brie co-founded MakerBot, the predominant 3D printer manufacturer in the United States, and the first to make 3D printing available to the masses. 3D printing has been around for a while. It's about 25 years old. Until we came along, all the machines were like refrigerator-sized machines. And we wanted one, but we couldn't afford one. We started tinkering, and when we got it to work, we quit our jobs and started MakerBot. MakerBot makes products that give everyone the power to create anything. Create this watch on your MakerBot, then put the electronics in, and it works. 3D printing is an additive process for making something. There's a nozzle, and we feed plastic into it, and it draws a picture in plastic, and then it lifts up a little bit and draws another picture in plastic. And layer by layer, it builds up your model. It's magic. It's one of those things where you have an idea, and where there was nothing, there's the thing you imagined. The cool part about the MakerBot Replicator 2 is that while it's designed for people with a technical background, really anyone can use it. It means that you can have ideas, make them faster, because you can afford to try things out many, many times, and that's what the next industrial revolution is all about. Instead of going to the factory to make things, you've got the factory on your desktop. During his State of the Union address, the president mentioned 3D printing as part of the future fabric of manufacturing and a way to bring jobs back to the U.S. Brie couldn't agree more and says MakerBot will revolutionize several industries, and in fact, already is. The medical industry, the automotive industry, space exploration, all this stuff gets better when you add in additive manufacturing. The biggest impact may be on the future of medicine, and the Replicator 2 is already having a huge impact in that area by making prosthetic fingers for a child in Africa. Normally with prosthetics, they don't make them for children because they're growing too fast and they're too expensive. Well, they were able to make the cost next to nothing for this kid to have a hand. When he gets a little bit bigger, no problem. They'll just make her buy another one. It takes the Replicator 2 between 30 minutes and several hours to create small objects. The Replicator 2 uses a corn-based plastic called PLA that MakerBot says is completely safe and toxic free. When we started MakerBot, it was just, you know, three guys, a laser cutter, and a dream. Now we've got 165 people. If you want to check out the future, you can stop by the MakerBot store in Lower Manhattan. You can even have a 3D bust made of yourself, just like I did. Dipping a toe into the future? At the MakerBot store in Lower Manhattan, Michael Artsis, NYPost.com.